Hello guys, so today I wanted to just sew my diamond painting stash with you guys. I I just love listening to the diamond painters on YouTube, the diamond painting community. It's so fun to see other people that have picked up this hobby and love it, just like I do. Um, I might be a little crazy. I just go crazy for Diamond Art Club. I haven't really um, dared venture out to other companies, but I am trying to expand. Um, I do have one coming from Star Roar and um, one from DIY Moon Shop. Um, but this is what I have and this might be ambitious, but these were the paintings that I wanted to finish this year, um, every single one of these is picked with a specific theme or a time of year in mind. And um, so I'll just kind of go through them. So the first of all, my favorite diamond paintings are these princess panels um, by Mandy Manzano. So I have the fairest of them all, the daughter of honor. Um, one worth melting for. The Bayou Lady. I have the Beauty. The Sleeping Beauty. The Desert Princess, which is empty because I'm working on it right now. It's my current whip. The Snow Queen. And one Prince panel, which is the Beast. And I seriously hope Diamond Art Club brings more of them back. I know they've discontinued so many of them. And I'm seriously so sad because I did not get into diamond painting until about June of last year. And so some of them, like Rapunzel and Ariel, were like already sold and sold out and, and discontinued. And so, gosh, like I, I just want to like campaign start like a, a change.org to have them bring them back or something. So as you, you can see there, that was quite a stash of Mandy Manzano. Continuing with my Mandy Manzanos, I have this Mary Did You Know, which I actually already completed one of these. Um, if you watch my video where I show my completed canvases, I bought this for my mother um, as a gift. So I'm doing one for her and then I'm going to do one for me. So this is, this is not my highest priority. Um, but I, it would be nice to have it done by Christmas next year. I have love at its darkest by Mandy Manzano. Again, Rapunzel by Mandy Manzano. Choose you by Mandy Manzano. And um, Under Sea Dreaming, again by Mandy Manzano. If you can tell, I have a favorite artist. <laughs> Trouble, which I'm excited to do for Halloween next year, or this year, I guess. Mandy Manzano again. And then my last Mandy Manzano is this Fathoms Below, which I think would be a really fun picture to put like in a bathroom. Um, so then after that, I just have my random, I am kind of obsessed with purple haired girl pictures right now. I don't know why, but I just think they're gorgeous. I saw Rachel Ray working on this, um, and I just had my eye on it and just, I just was thinking she's just so gorgeous. So this is by Erica the Goober. And then I also have Elusive by Emily... Jerike? I don't know how to say that last name. I apologize. But um, I thought she was just gorgeous. And she re really reminds me of like kind of a Mardi Gras theme. I have um, two of Mandy Manzano Mardi Gras ones that I've done. And I'd like to add maybe add her to that um, display. So then I have this Santa face, which is just a fun one for Christmas. I'm thinking... That will be a, a fun one to do around Christmas time if I can get to it. And then I have these giant pieces. So I have the Country Inn. Gosh, it's heavy. Let's see. The Country Inn and Farm 
by David McLean. And then I have Mountain Castle by Dominique Davison. I love how you're looking out the window at the new Schwanstein Castle. That castle is just amazing and I just can't even imagine what it would be like looking out and staring at it through a window. It's, that that would be so neat. Um, and then Hawaiian Life is the last one that I have in my stash um, that I have right now. I am really excited to do this one. I feel like um, around the time about summer when it's just kind of starting, I have this itch to do something summery to get me in the mood for summer because where I live, it is feels like we have just nasty ugly winter for forever so yeah this is my diamond painting collection um or stash it might be a little ambitious i kind of wanted to do a princess panel a month so i kind of made a list of each princess each month we'll see um i got a little behind on the desert princess which was for january uh, my whole family had COVID, so that was wonderful. And being the mom, taking care of everyone <laughs> was, was a lot of work. I didn't get much diamond painting done. But um, yeah, so this is my stash. Let me know if you have any of these, um, if you're working on them too. If you love the Disney princess panels as well. Obviously, I love Disney diamond art and, and paintings. I collect paintings and puzzles that are that is Disney art. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in another video.